<laughs> hey hey, welcome back to the channel. It's awesome that you're tuning in. So in this video, we are going to take a close look at the PlayStation 2 FAT model. And this model is in particular my favorite model. Let me know in the comments, do you like the FAT or the slim model? But there are quite a lot of reasons why I really love this machine. This thing is absolutely a beast when it comes to the slim model. But I have so many good fond memories of this machine. But not only the memories, it is also like the functionality that I like about this. I guess I remember the first time I opened up this machine. It was absolutely amazing. Like this was this raw that comes out. And of course there were some different like retro machines nowadays that have the same like, technology. But I think it was back in the day pretty damn cool. But if you don't want to use your original games anymore and you want to preserve them, like with your laser that is maybe still working, there are some cool ways nowadays that you can get and have a lot of fun with. So let's talk about that. Like a lot of PlayStation nowadays, we can upgrade it with the free Mac booth. Let's plug it in, have a soft mod and do amazing things. But what I do like about this modification we're going to talk about, we can still use the original memory card in slot number one. So basically what you can do with this is just keep saving your games and use the Mac free booth to unlocking your system. Because now we can basically like connect ourselves like this gigantic beast of a hard drive. Yeah, I think that it's pretty damn awesome that you can just use yourself like a two terabyte disc inside of your PlayStation 2. It's absolutely freaking wicked if you ask me. But inside this kit, we're going to get ourselves the hard drive. We're going to get ourselves the free Mac booth memory card. And then of course, we're going to get ourselves the network adapter. Yeah, that's something that we're going to need because otherwise there's no way of connecting our hard drive inside the freaking PlayStation 2. And these are brand new. And what I like about it, that you just like plug and play it and you don't need to up the mumbo jumbo getting an original network adapter. So if you want to like use an original HDD adapter from Sony back in the day, yeah, these things are getting quite difficult to find or basically here. And when you find them, they are going to be very expensive. But the other problem is the connection of the hard drive. So with the new version from China, we do get like say the SATA connection so you can plug in, in a brand new hard drive. And the problem with these old drives is like if you're going to find like a 500 gigabyte, it's going to be super expensive to get. And if they're going to be like reliable, that is a question simply because they are old. And I think not the best way, but what you do get with the original ones is this network adapter because you can also load up your games through the Ethernet connection. But if you want to use the original hard drive, we're also going to have the option to convert it to an SATA. So that is one of the ways to go to. These things are not super expensive to buy, but yeah, you need to get yourself an original adapter and you need to get yourself a kit. It does come with a very nice manual explanation how you need to convert everything. I just want to make a separate video in the future about this, but I just want to give you like a quick look into this, that there is an option like this, so it's something you can take consideration. Okay, so let's focus on this kit itself. So what you're going to get is of course not an original memory card, but ugh, you're going to get yourself the free Mac booth, the two terabyte hard drive. You also have different formats or yeah, you can also get yourself like a separate like adapter and a free booth and you just basically can get yourself and set that drive and let's convert it and just put it basically inside your place too. It's all up to you what you want to do. Okay guys, so what you need to do basically with this is you need to remove the extension bay over here or the plastic then we can fit in the freaking hard drive but there's one thing you need to take consideration and this is a little bit of a bummer it's like you don't have the original let's say reels to mount this inside so you do have some space what i'm using is like these poster gummies and you can basically put them at the side and give them a very nice stable position in the inside so it doesn't like move around but yeah the, the most convenient thing to do basically is like first removing this piece of plastic putting the hard drive on this and then very carefully slide it in because you just want to like connect it like this it's almost freaking impossible but i did notice with these as a network adapters from china that the way how they fit it's not always perfectly i so, so need to try a couple of times to get everything perfectly in the right position so when it comes to that i personally prefer the original network adapter it fits way better than this uh, yeah the SATA version but if you want to know for sure that your disc has been connected with the network adapter properly what you need to do is basically like remove your free mac booth and boot it up and you will hear the disc spinning instantly when you're just booting it up like this or without the free mac booth But 
before we're going to boot up the system, I just want to point out I also made a lot of videos about the HDMI adapters and solutions for PlayStation 2. There are nowadays many ways to play and I did a full reviews, but also like side by side comparisons. Um, my favorite dongle that I'm using daily. So we do have like versions like Bitfunks, Kaiko, you name it, PlayStation, cables and dongles can be found freaking on AliExpress and sometimes everywhere. Yeah, nevertheless, I made a full review. I just wanted to point out a really great solution out there. And in this video, I'm just going to use the pound for once. And uh, yeah, let's talk about, by the way, not the HDMI solution, but the free Mac booth menu. All right, so when the system has been booted up, you are going to be introducing with the free Mac booth menu. This is the version 1.966. Another thing I need to take consideration, depending on what kind of size memory cards you're buying, also going to get differences in the applications. There are even some emulators on it for your playing retro games that we're going to take a close look at it later. But the thing is like, we do have the HD loader and of course the OPL for basically getting into the hard drive and the U-Launch Elf is basically if you want to reconfigure stuff inside of your memory card. But let's take a close look at OPL and let's see how it boots up. It will take a couple of, uh, I think maybe a couple of seconds. So it will boot up, depending on the size, of course, of the freaking hard drive. Uh, you can see, like, it needs its time now. Sometimes you just need to boot it up and wait for, let's say, a minute or so. To also need to boot up the hard drive. And that will okay, take up some time. Takes up very long time. A very long time to bring some coffee. All right, so after a couple of minutes booting up the drive, it takes quite a long time. You're going to get yourself the OPL list. Here we're going to get the big list of all of the games that you have installed. Then we're going to get ourselves the tiny screenshot and a very nice background. It's going to be a nightmare setting everything up, I can tell you that. But everything has been set up, it looks amazing. And yeah, what you can do is like scroll through your list very quickly, add all of your games through the hard drive application and basically you can play it like that but let's try some games because sometimes if you have some compatibility issues press triangle on your controller you need to configure the modes there's a big list online that shows like which game has some issues and uh, they're still working on so far i understand but it's pretty damn cool a lot of stuff will work on the internal hard drive but what i do like having the configuration with when original memory card is that you can just save your actually games because when you're having a free Mac boot drive and try to save stuff on it, it's most of the time that possible due of no space or the memory card don't have this magic gate like connection. Well, let's boot up the game and let's see how it runs. All right, so let's try a quick game just to see how fast everything boots up. And let's see what we're going to get. I don't see any stuttering whatsoever. Don't you love all those freaking options? Yes, yes, yes. I want to race. Come on. Hurry. Loading time. So really gonna later. But you can see like it's very fast loading. And that's what I like about it. So let's play a little bit of the game. Okay, I must say that I didn't play that game uh, much. I haven't done it in a very long time in my collection too, but I don't know, man. It's it's such a weird game. The graphical thing is so weird. And when you're looking at the controls, it feels kind of arcadey, but also kind of strange. Like, look at this, what, what the hell? Yeah. I'm just going to be honest, this is not really my game, but the game seems to be running just fine. The only downside is if you're going to be rebooting your system every single time, it needs to load up the freaking hard drive and that takes freaking forever sometimes, or that is how it feels. Okay, so next up, let's try just a fighting game, just for fun to see how everything works out. Don't have any issues with the audio, that is something you do have with the USB drive sometimes. Let's put some arcade. All right, so time for some subby wobby. Mm, yeah. All right. I need to fight against myself. What the hell? And like expected, the loading times are super fast. But 
what do you think of this PlayStation 2 2 terabyte upgrade? I think first of all that it's pretty damn awesome. So when you're looking at it, like slapping a 2 terabyte disk in your PlayStation 2, you can store so many of your games on it and it's just super convenient. The only downside I think with it is like the loading times when you're getting into the OPL menu is quite long so you need to wait. But yeah, beside that point, I think it is one of the best ways to play because due of the compatibility, if you're looking at the USB and of course the hard drive internally, this is the best way with the best compatibility. And yeah, let me know in the comments what do you think of this. I want to thank you for watching. Consider subscribing, hit that little bell, become one of the Wicked family. And I will see you in the next video.